Welcome back to our African leafy vegetable series. As promised, today we are going to be talking about amaranth, amaterere, amamchicha, specifically the large variety. And this is what we harvest for four months. Amaranth has over 90 varieties and some are good for the flowers, some are used for their leaves. And this is what we plant. Our customer prefers this variety. So how is it planted? This amaranth is planted in a seed bed as seeds for transplant. You produce seedlings in a seed bed and uh, the seedlings will be produced after a month of which we will be transferring those seedlings to farrows. The same procedure we used in the managu preparation is the same we will use in the amaranth. The only difference is the prices of the inputs. For example, the, uh, the inputs that you need in terms of seeds for a half an acre of, mana of terere, you will need about 50 grams of amaranth and it will cover the whole half an acre. Uh, 50 grams of amaranth goes for about 200 shillings and 50. You will need uh, manure, a lot of manure because it's a heavy consumer. And also you will need land or somewhere, a media where you'll be planting. First of all, sow your seeds into a seed bed uh, for one month. And then you'll transplant the seedlings to your farm or your vertical gardens. These seedlings will be there for one month where they will be harvested for the first time. And this vegetable will be harvested on a weekly basis for the next four months. For you to harvest these four months, what you will require is a lot of water because it's a, it's a heavy feeder. To transplant your seed, after a month of sowing your seed, it will be ready for transplant. So you will take your seedlings to the place you are prepared. And how do you prepare where you transplant? You make furrows furrows of about 15 centimeters to whatever length you want and the spacing is 10 centimeter of each seedling 10 centimeter apart 10 centimeters apart this will stay there for one month with a lot of water we did a lot of manure and water and then after one month they will be ready for your first harvest after that you will be harvesting on weekly basis suckers these suckers are what you will grow and what you will be harvesting on a weekly basis. So the, the healthier the, 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 your soil is, the more suckers, the more harvest you will have. In those furrows, you need to feed the furrows the manure, a lot of manure. The manure should be filling the furrow completely and then after that you mix with soil, little bit of soil. So the ratio of manure to the soil after mixing it should be 1 is to 3. So after that you will water the, the furrow very well and then after that you will transplant in the evening and also irrigate in the evening. The management practices, you will need the farm to be tilled and furrows to be made. That will cost you about 3,000 shillings. You will also need uh, transplanting and the transplanting cost will cost you about 2,000 shillings. Uh, you will also need manure. The manure that uh, you can apply there will cost you about 5,000 to 10,000 depending on the, the, the area you are and depending on the nutritional value, level of your, of your soil. It is very important to do a soil test this is something you, I also do. You can do for you to know what you need, what nutrients you need in your, in your soil. Harvested after one month of transplant. So after one month of transplant, you will harvest your first. You will be doing weeding. Uh, amaranth is very good because it does not have diseases, neither does it have pests. It is easy to grow and easy to produce. The market is readily available and the management is very easy. Other than uh, uprooting the weeds when, they are, when necessary, you have no other obligation in man management of the weeds. Uh, the amaranth is a heavy feeder as managu, so with time, maybe after four months, if you don't wish to transplant again, you can cut the, the heads of the amaranth and it will automatically shoot again. 
by shooting again we will need to input more feed that is the more uh, manure and maybe more foliar feed. The amaranth market is greatly affected by the managu uh, market because these are complementary dishes they go with each other because you will not have managu without terere so terere goes with almost every variety of the vegetable in the farm and it is necessary to have it as a complement of other vegetables the price range of amaranth goes for about 30 shillings a kilo on average on the minimum of 10 shillings when on a low season to a maximum of 40 shillings on high season. For a half, for a half an acre of, uh, of land, you are expected to harvest a minimum of 400 kilos of amaranth on a weekly basis or a minimum of two times a month. That is 800 kilos a month. For you to be a successful farmer in these African leafy vegetables, you need to understand how to control pests and diseases, as well as increase productivity, and as well as choosing the best variety for your region. And in this sense, when you want to control pests and diseases, where the best practice you can use, it is crop rotation. This is by understanding the crop's family and rotating it with a, another family that does not attract the pests and diseases that were, uh, were hosted by the previous crop. For example, if this portion of land had managu which was infested by amphids and amaranth is not greatly affected by um, the, the amphids, I will rotate the managu with the amaranth. By that, I will control pests and diseases in that, in that block. Uh, also variety. Try to choose the varieties that are resistant to crop to, to the pests and diseases and also that are going to return new high yields at the end of the day. I hope you enjoyed this series of African leafy vegetables. Uh, I hope to see you on trainings. Remember we have trainings every Monday of the first week of every month. Our virtual trainees will be charged 250 shillings per session and the practicals will be done at 500 per session. Visit our Facebook page that is Kenyaji Veggies or reach us through 0758553227 for more information. Subscribe and remember to subscribe, like, comment and share with your friends and remember if you come for the training and you use this video as your point of reference, you get a discount.